Hey guys, it's your girl Raina Jenks. Welcome back to my channel. I know that I have been slacking on doing videos lately, but I've been going through a lot. Um, there's a lot going on. I'm moving. I'm, you know, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I can't go into detail, but um, basically I'm stressed out. So um, I had to take a break from YouTube for a little bit, but um, I'm going to try and get back to back into the swing of things. But yeah, um, I don't know if you can tell. I got a little trim today. I went this morning. Um, went to Supercuts. Um, I have a review on Supercuts. Um, the last time I got a trim, which was actually last year, but um, I can link that video in the cards and down below for you guys. Um, but I'm uh, I'm kind of annoyed, just a little bit annoyed because. Um, I lost length. My hair was probably like right here before I got my trim and um, I feel like the guy I went to um, cut off an inch more than he really needed to. But whatever. Um, I'm happy that my ends are nice and even and my hair, my ends don't look raggedy anymore so we're just gonna move on from here now. Um, because I do love having long hair and I felt like my hair was getting really long um, and I feel like now I'm back to where I was when I got my last trim so it's a little annoying. This video is going to be about all of the luxury makeup that I have been able to um, buy and also receive from friends because my birthday did just pass so I did get some things. I wanted to do like a haul, like a luxury makeup haul and uh, get ready with me combined. So you're going to see me uh, applying the makeup and I will be talking about it at the same time. So I thought this video would be a great idea. Um, and as you can see, like, woo, I look good today. <laughs> So we're going to talk about all this makeup that I used and um, yeah, let's just get into it. I used two primers and one of them is the Lancome LA Base Pro and it's actually just a trial size. Um, but it came in like a little goodie bag that um, my friend got me for my birthday and um, it's, um, it reminds me of the, uh, what is it called? The Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Pretty much the same consistency, like, um, it's pretty similar, just a, it feels like just a regular old base to me. After applying it, it feels like it turns into like a powder form and it just stays in place. Like, it like disappears into your face, into your skin and stays in place and it feels like a powder finish once it goes onto the skin. So, um, I do like this. Um, would I go out of my way to buy it? Not really because when it comes to primers, I am not crazy. So um, as long as I don't, you know, look like an oil slick by the end of the day, I'm good. <laughs> the next primer I used was the Pore Professional by Benefit. If you haven't been living under a rock, you know that this is um, one of the more um, popular primers out there. This primer is specific to um, making your pores disappear and fine lines disappear and giving you a flawless uh, appearance with trying to minimize the appearance of pores. I used it today because I have pores on my cheeks that are visible. I don't know if it really minimized the appearance of my pores. My pores are pretty big, especially on this side for some reason, but it also says that you can use it on top of your foundation and you just dab it on and um, basically blend it in with your foundation. Oh, and I actually, when I do that, it does kind of conceal the pores a little bit on top of the foundation. It definitely concealed them better. Um, maybe I should try using it on top of my foundation more than under it and it looks like it would work better that way because it did and it obviously they don't disappear <laughs> let's not get crazy but they do fade and they're not as noticeable um, as before so for foundation I tried or I just I actually just bought this yesterday the Cl Clinique 
the Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Foundation. And um, I tried this on in Sephora. I got color matched and all of my matches came up for foundation because I was in the Tarte section and apparently Tarte does not have a color that matches me, at least not in that Sephora for the foundation that I was looking at. The guy that I talked to at Sephora, he recommended this one to me because it's matte, it's um, light to medium coverage, but um, I didn't want full coverage because I do like my skin to show through my foundation a little bit because I do like a more natural finish, um, especially for every day. So this was definitely awesome for every day. Um, it has a golden undertone. The color is 24 golden and then in parentheses it says DG. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but um, I'm pretty sure that means I just have a golden undertone and um, oh, deep golden. I'm sure that's what it means. Um, yeah, so this is the color number 24. As for the formula, I really like the formula. It's really light. It feels like it kind of goes on like a liquid and kind of like like I like the other primer I was talking about it kind of transform into a powder at least to the touch that's what it feels like I <laughs> been wanting this product for so long and I finally got it it's the Tartlet palette I know the um, the two Tartlet two palette came out recently the whatever is it called, Flowers in Bloom, something in Bloom. This is just the first version with all the matte colors in it. And this is just such a beautiful, luxury looking product. All of the colors are here. I'm trying not to blind you. All the colors, they all have names. Um, the packaging is beautiful. It has a big old mirror. Um, so if I'm traveling, I don't need to have a separate mirror. The mirror, I got a big enough mirror here. And um, I love these colors. They're so pigmented and I don't have to do much for them to show up. All I have to do is apply a primer to my eyes and I'm good to go. Um, I find that the eyeshadows like almost never crease, especially if I wear a primer. Um, I think the formula of these, the Amazonian clay line in general is just awesome and the whatever they put in it, it just allows my eyeshadow to stay put all day without creasing. Um, the colors are beautiful. This is great for every day, um, great for any skin tone because I find that I can use every eyeshadow in this palette and I'm pretty sure anyone else can as well. Plus, the beautiful packaging. I just love this palette and I've been using it every day that I've been putting on makeup. I haven't even been touching any other eyeshadow palette that I have because this to me is like all I would ever need in a palette, um, especially since I am a matte girl. Like I do wear shimmers, yeah, but not for every day. So I can bring this any day, anywhere, and I'd be happy with it. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Get out the camera. I'm almost done. I just gotta talk about the product. You wanna stop it? You wanna talk to me or something? Okay, so for liner, I got the Tarte Tartiste uh, Clay Paint Liner. Clay Paint. Bleh, I can't talk. Clay Paint Liner. And um, this is a liner in a tube so I thought it was interesting because I hate products that dry out. It comes with this brush that they have. Just an angled little liner brush. Um, I find that it's a little complex to use. It takes a lot of practice. Um, I'm not a big fan of this brush. Um, I find that I end up using, well I went through like three liner brushes today but I actually like using my BH Cosmetics liner brush better. It's just straight um, as opposed to that curve angle that they provide for their brush. Um, I do like the formula and I like the um, color payoff. It's nice and dark and matte. Yeah, I really like this liner. As long as I can figure out an easy way to use it, then I'll be good. <laughs> for lashes, um, I tried this Lancome liner 
And I should probably find the name. Oh, I can't speak French. Um, <laughs> it's in the color one black and it says Definicils. Definicils. Yeah, um, but it feels like just a, it says high definition mascara. It feels like a regular old mascara, you know. Regular wand. Well, I do like the wand. It's nice and skinny and it kept catches all of the lashes. Um, I really like really dark mascaras. I find that this one is not really dark like jet black but it's it's black and um, it's just you know I'm not gonna go out of my way to purchase this mascara but it's good it does the job. And then in my little Lancome bag I also got a blush. It's in the color Shimmer Mocha Havana. And it's a really pretty color. I was surprised because it doesn't look like much in the packaging. But it comes off really nice. It has like the teeniest bit of shimmer. So it's not going to be anything too overwhelming. Um, but um, I don't know. Like it kind of disappeared on my cheeks when I put on my highlighter. Probably should have reapplied it. But um, it's a really pretty color. You'll see when I do the demonstration my reaction <laughs> to this blush but I love it it's such a nice natural color and something that I wouldn't mind wearing every day now for my favorite parts I was eyeing this product by Sephora um, it's called the radiant luminizing drops and I got it in the color morning light um, these this is basically a liquid highlighter highlighter um i actually meant to get the next color which was like i forgot what it was called i'll list it below but it was a more golden highlighter than this one this one is a little bit on the lighter icy side but it's not too icy where it's gonna not blend in well with my skin and um it is like, you know, like a morning dew type look. Um, so I really like this. It says you can apply it as a highlighter alone, like on the tops of your cheekbones and down the bridge of your nose. Or you can actually mix this in with your foundation. Now this part right here is a pump. So you pump the product. You're supposed to shake it first. But then you pump the product here and then you take it out. And it's actually a dropper. And of course, it doesn't want to drop right now. <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, it's a dropper. Um, it can get messy if you're not careful. So just be careful. But um, for the most part, it's not crazy messy. Um, as I um, was saying in my um, get ready with me, um, I you'll see me like just putting the tiniest bits of amount, like the tiniest bits along the top of my cheekbones and then down the bridge of my nose just because you don't need a lot at all and you can wear this alone as a highlighter but of course I had to overdo it and um, this product I actually got from Ulta and it is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter I keep saying highlighter highlighter um, it is that um, baked gelato swirl illuminator and um, this is a very popular product as well. I had to get it. I had to try it out because everyone raves about it. And then once I tried it for myself, I was just like, okay, this is why. <laughs> um, I wore this alone a lot. Um, but today I wanted to try um, putting a liquid highlighter under a powder highlighter. And let me tell you, like, I don't have to say much. Just look. Yeah, I really, really like these two together. This will be probably my permanent combination for a very long time because I am obsessed with the look. Like, I just, I love this glow I have going on right now. That is it for all of my luxury products. Um, I hope you enjoyed the get ready with me slash haul. And let me know down below if you have tried some of these products. I would love to see um, your opinions on them, how you feel about them, or if there's any products that you plan on buying yourself. Like I have all of these, 
or I mean not all of these a lot of these products are products that a lot of people have been raving about so I just had to try some of them and um, I am really happy that I did because I'm happy with a lot of or I'm happy with everything pretty much um, especially the stuff that I bought I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.